I'm in Upper Gwain in Wales, also known as Fishgad. Today I'll be visiting the gravesite of the Welsh poet and writer Dylan Thomas. If you're not familiar with him, he's the same Dylan Thomas that Taylor Swift names in the song Tortured Poets Department. Dylan Thomas born October 27th, 1914 in Swansea, Wales. He was a poet and writer renowned for his powerful voice and evocative language. His works include the famous poems Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night and Death Shall Have No Dominion as well as the play and the Milk Wood. Thomas suffered an untimely death in New York City at the age of 39. Another singer he's influenced is Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan was born Robert Zimmerman, but he changed his name to Bob Dylan in homage to the Welsh poet. Dylan Thomas is pictured on the album cover for the Beatles' Sgt Pepper. And other famous fans of his work include Johnny Depp and former US President Jimmy Carter, both of whom have visited Wales to visit locations connected to Dylan Thomas. President Carter actually opened the Dylan Thomas Centre in Swansea. Got a Pretty cool little sculpture here. It's called Sun Liver. And it was created by John Cleal, 1929 until 2007. Now I've started the video here today because this is where the film Under Milk Wood was filmed. The film starred Peter O'Toole, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. There's actually a plaque here to commemorate the filming of Under Milk Wood. Lower Town Fishguard site of the filming of Under Milk Wood. 1971. Small is our river Dewey Lord, a baby on a rushy bed. My Carrig Kenin, King of Time, our heron head is only a bit of stone with seaweed spread where gulls come to be lonely. A tiny dingle is milkwood by Golden Grove neath Gronger. But let me choose and oh I should love all my life and longer to stroll among our trees and stray in Gusgog Lane on Donkey Down and hear the Dewey sing all day and never, never leave the town. I'm now in the town of Talacharn and Dolan Thomas came here in 1934 and he fell in love with the place. He would live here off and on for 20 years and this is where he met his wife, Caitlin. And this is Talacharn Castle. It was built by the Normans in the 1100s. And it was captured by Prince Llewellyn the Great of North Wales in the 1200s and also by his grandson later on, um, Llewellyn the Last. And Llewellyn the Last actually destroyed the castle. As you can see, I've furnished myself with a brolly, but it's stopped raining now. Typical. Got this bench here, and they've got some Dylan Thomas poems. Or well, some writings, anyway, from Under Milk Wood. Don't know if you want to freeze the picture now, if you want to read that. And there's another one here. I hope 
you can read it. This is the house that Dylan Thomas moved into in 1949, the famous boat house. It's the house that's most associated with Dylan Thomas. So this is the view he had when he was doing his writing from 1949 up until his death in 1953. Again, a wonder of summer with apples, pears, and red currants. And I saw in the turning so clearly a child's forgotten mornings when he walked with his mother through the parables of sunlight and the legends of the green chapels and the twice told fields of infancy. That his tears burned my cheeks and his heart moved in mine. These were the woods, the river, and sea, where a boy, in the listening summertime of the dead, whispered the truth of his joy to the trees and the stones and the fish in the tide. And the mystery sang alive, still in the water and singing bird. A short distance away from the boathouse, you'll locate Dolan Thomas's writing shed. The writing shed actually predates Dylan's time here. It was built in 1925. It was originally just like a garage. Roald Dahl built a similar shed in his um, home after becoming aware of Dullan's shed. Okay, that's the writing shed over there. And this path leads up to the boathouse. Just have a quick look outside and I'll go and visit Dullan Thomas's grave in the town. I'm not doing a deep dive into Dolan's life in this video, but if there's enough demand for that, I'll, um, I'll try and make another longer video uh, sometime. And there's the house down there. Just the view from the other side. This is St. Martin's Church. And Dolan Thomas is buried in the graveyard here. Be aware there's another St. Martin's Church not far from the town. And Google Maps sent me there. Dolan Thomas was a very heavy drinker and he had been drinking at the White Horse pub in Greenwich Village, New York City, on the night that he fell ill. And he died in hospital on November the 9th, 1953, at the age of 39. Right at the back of the graveyard now, still can't locate the grave. Got like a bit of a spooky bit here. gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words had fought no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. 
Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in fright and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, Curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light.